Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat and today as the title suggests I will be doing a haul from Princess Polly. I really wanted to shop a brand's Insta shop or their Insta style and pick pieces from their feed and then actually use the little um, Instagram shop click through and actually shop their Instagram. So after looking at a whole heap of brands I decided to do it from Princess Polly just because I really like their style. So I went on to Princess Polly and I picked up a whole bag of goodies and so let's jump right in and see what I got okay so the first piece I got was just a plain Wrangler shirt um, and here is the picture right here of the model wearing it so here it is right here so just a really plain Wrangler shirt. I just love the way that it was styled in the picture. Um, it was $49.95 and I got it in a 10. So I mean, I think that'll fit. We'll give it a crack. Um, it seems, it's actually made really well. All the seams are finished off really, really nicely. It's actually amazing quality. The cotton is really, really soft. Um, I mean, I assume it's cotton, but either way, yeah. Oh, 50% cotton, 50% polyester, but I mean, it is very, very soft. Um, and yeah, it feels really nice. So um, what I'm going to do is try this one on and see how it fits. Okay, so here is the shirt. Now, the whole reason I wanted this one so much in the first place is because of the way she had it tied up in the picture. So that's how I've styled it. Um, if I was going to wear this, I would definitely wear it with a pair of high-waisted shorts as I'm doing right now. There's the front and the back. And this one actually fits really nicely. It's really, really comfortable. It's really, really soft. You could wear this all day and just be completely comfortable in it. And if you didn't want to tie it up like that, then you could have it out, which I probably wouldn't do. But you could also just tuck it straight into um, the top of your shorts and wear it kind of tucked in like that. But I would definitely wear it um, kind of tied up. Um, but yeah, this is the shirt. So I really like it. And so far, this haul is a success. So the next piece I got was the, this little crop top. Um, and it is called the Cebu crop top. And I got it in a 10. If I can just figure out how to open this bag. And it is just a really cute little crop. Um, it's kind of like, like a ruched material, sort of. Um, and I just really liked it because I'm really getting into, I've never really been into basics, but I'm getting more into basics lately. Here is the picture and how it was styled on Instagram. This one, I believe, was $40. So all of these things were full price. Nothing was on sale. Um, but there is the crop top. Um, once again, it seems like it's pretty well made. Like, I'm really impressed with Princess Polly. It's nice and stretchy, um, but not like a loose stretchy, like a stretchy that will sort of hold its shape. Um, and I feel like that it will fit okay. So, um, let's give this one a try on and see how it fits. Okay, and here is the little crop top. Now, this one is a little bit too small, but that's not Princess Polly's fault. That's my fault. I definitely should have got a bigger size. It fits actually reasonably well. Like, it's obviously buckling a bit here at the front because it is so tight. Um, and I think because it is so tight, it's got a little bit see-through. Once again, I think if I got it in a bigger size and it was a bit less stretched, it would just fit a lot better. Um, but yeah, still, I mean, I left the same shorts on because I thought it was like just the right length. Um, to to be worn with something like that. I love the design. I love the style. I love that it buttons down the front so you can just put it on and then just do it up at the front. That's super easy, especially if you've just done like full hair and makeup and you don't want to pull anything over your head. This is super convenient. So I like it. I just, it is a bit small for me, unfortunately, but I still love the design. So the next piece that I got is a dress um, and it's called the She Wolf Mini Dress. Um, this one is much more like the style that I'm kind of used to. It's got in one of my signature colors. Um, and I just saw this on the site. Um, it was actually another influencer that I really like was wearing it on Princess Polly's Instagram. Um, Isabella Clark was wearing it. So... It is so me, it's so pink. 
Um, it looks like it's pretty well made. It's ribbed um, and we know how much I like things that are ribbed. They hold their shape. It's double lined in the front part. So in the chest part. That's the only thing. I don't really like these sort of adjustable straps, if you can see that. Um, only because... Only because I just think they tend to break a lot more easily. And it was $45, which I actually think is really good for a little mini dress. Um, so let's give this one a try on and see how it fits. And here is the pink mini dress. Now, as much as I love this one, and I actually think I was looking forward to this the most out of the entire haul, um, I think, unfortunately, it's just it just is a little bit thin. Um, I don't know if I'll keep it. I still really like it. I love the length. I love the neckline. I love everything about it, except for the fact that despite the fact that it's ribbed, it... I don't know, it just feels a little bit thin um, and it doesn't feel like it's going to hold its shape very well. And I know that I love the fact that it was double lined, but you can definitely see the double lining through the dress. I love the colour, I love the style, but I think potentially the material just needs to be a little bit thicker um, for me to wear this, especially, I think it was, did I say I think it was $40? I mean, if this was like a $20 pretty little thing dress, I'd be like, well, we paid 20 bucks, like we get what we paid for. Um, but as this one is a little bit more expensive, I think I'd want to get a slightly higher quality, but I still really like the design. So the next one that I got is another dress. Um, and it is called the Viceroy Midi Dress. And I got this one because it kind of reminded me of that Realization brand. It's an Australian brand that does these really cool dresses. Um, but it kind of reminded me of that. It's actually quite similar to the one I'm wearing right now. Um, but I just didn't have too many like kind of midi dresses that weren't skin tight that were good for just like a brunch or an afternoon or something that weren't too dressy but were still really kind of elegant and chic. So that's why I got this one because I thought it would sort of tick all the boxes. I also got it a little bit bigger because I didn't want it to be too tight. I wanted it to be quite flowy, but we'll see how that goes. Um... Once again, it all looks really nicely made. It's got that really nice kind of cowl neckline in the front. Um, it has these straps again, but I mean, I guess it's better that it has adjustable straps than it doesn't. So I, you know, depending on how long your torso and that is, you can adjust it. Um, and this one was $60, I believe. And I got this one in a 12. So everything else I got in a 10, but this one I got in a 12. Here is the way that it was styled on Princess Polly. So, I think I'm going to like this one, so let me try this one on for you and I will let you know how it looks. Okay, and here is the midi dress. Now, first of all, I do think I bought this in the wrong size yet again. It just seems to gape a little bit here, so I mean, potentially I could go with a 10 instead of a 12. But having said that, it is really, really comfortable, so it has that going for it. Um, I really like the slits up the sides, so I don't know if you can see, but it's got these really nice little slits up the sides, so that just like mean, gives you a little bit more movability in it and makes it a little bit more flowy in summary. Um, I love the neckline, um, but yeah, I just... I don't know. I stand by my reasons for getting this, that I wanted something more like flowy and elegant and chic you know, for nice get-togethers and things and brunches, but I'm not sure it really falls in with my personal style. Like, if it was a bit shorter, I think I'd be into it, but I'm just, I'm not sure I love it. I'm not sure, if, if maybe if it was in the right size, I'd be a lot more positive, but I don't know. I don't think, once again, it's not Princess Polly's fault. Like, it's a great dress, and if it was in the right size and it was my personal style, I'd love it, but I just don't think it's either of those things. So, I mean, don't, please don't be put off from buying it. I really, I think it's a great dress, but um, it's maybe just not for me. Okay, so the next one that I got is yet another dress. Um, I decided, I love dresses, so I decided to give their dresses a really good crack. This one is the Leopard Better Vanor mini dress, I think is how it's pronounced. And I just love a bit of leopard, which is why I got this one. So here it is here. It's like just a really nice kind of neutral leopard color. Um, this one I also got in a 12 and just looking at it, it does actually look very big. Like it looks very wide compared to the other dresses. So I mean, we'll give it a go. It still has these same adjustable straps, but I guess that's just a staple of like 
Princess Polly and how the dresses go. It is seems like it's quite a nice shape, despite the fact that it might be a little big for me. And the satin material is really, really thick. So that's really nice. Like it's a really, it's not a thin material. Like I think with these dresses, you're getting what you pay for because it is really thick. Here is where I saw it on Princess Polly. And I just, I just really, I love leopard. I fell in love with it. Um, we'll see how we go. Um, so let me show you how I would style this one. And here we have the leopard dress. Now this one, I definitely think I got in the wrong size. It does seem to be very, very big on me. Um, and also when I first put it on, the straps were very high up. So this bit was sitting like way up here. So I've let the straps down. So this hangs at like a better place, but also that makes it a much lower back. So I mean, if you're into that as a look, um, it's quite nice, but I definitely think I could do um, maybe a smaller size. This is the perils of shopping online. Um, but overall, great material, great design, love the dress. I think it's great for summer, especially with this low back. It's so beautiful and cool. It'd be great for like a Sunday session um, or like just sitting around having drinks like on a Saturday afternoon or something like that. So I really like it. I just, I bought the wrong size. What are you gonna do? <laughs> and so the final piece that I got was actually an accessory. Princess Polly have a lot of really awesome necklaces on their side, so I really wanted to try them out um, and see if I liked them. So, I actually cheated a little bit with this one because this particular one wasn't actually on the site, uh, on the Insta site, um, but there was another one that was. So the one that was said honey, um, but I actually preferred the one that said baby. Basically because I love the Spice Girls, so I'd rather have one that says baby, and I can kind of pretend I'm baby spice, rather than a word that says honey, because that doesn't really have a lot of meaning to me. Um, but yeah, I just really wanted to try out their jewelry. So this one, I'll come a little bit closer. So it's just a really nice little, I guess just a really nice little delicate, necklace in gold. I'm assuming it's only like gold plated so I don't know how long it will last. Um, it was, the necklace was $20 so I mean it was pretty cheap. It feels really nice, it's really delicate and it's adjustable at the back so you can bring it up probably quite tight in and almost make it like a little choker or you could let it out a bit and actually have it sitting a bit lower down which is cool. So that is my first experience shopping off a brand's Insta store or the Insta style. Um, I really enjoyed it. I think we picked up a lot of really nice pieces. Um, and I think I'll be doing this again at some point. So if there's any other stores you'd like me to shop their Insta style, please comment down below. As always, if you did like this video, please hit the subscribe button down below and please also hit the little bell and turn on post notifications if you would like to be notified every time I post new content. And guys, as always, if there is anything else you would like to see me doing, if there's any content that you um, would like to see, please comment down below um, and I will do my best to follow all your suggestions. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope everybody enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it. And please tune in the next time I make a video. Thanks, guys. Bye.